Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a haul video for you. So I have a box here. This is actually a new to me vendor. This is from the Melted Moose. She, um, I don't remember the owner's name, but she posted that she was going to do like a Christmas sampler or something, something to that effect. I can't remember exactly what she called it. And she was going to have limited quantity available. It was going to be ready to ship. And she posted this I think it was Sunday last week. So today is December 4th and last Sunday was that the, I think it was like the 28th maybe. Um, and they sold out really fast. I was lucky I was able to get one. Um, she did not post what scents and stuff were gonna be in the box, but she did kind of indicate what format, like how many, like I think she said like six scent shots and maybe three like souffles. And I feel like some other stuff. So. I'm super excited to get this. I have heard, you know, about the Melted Moose now from some YouTubers here, um, from some folks on YouTube. So i um, excited to try. So when I open the box, this is what it looks like. Oops, super cute. I love the plaid. And there is a business card. So you can see that information and here's the back. Uh, it says hand poured wax melts find me on Facebook. So Yeah, and then that sticker is super cute. It's a special delivery from the North Pole number 271,000 for you I Don't know what that means. I think that's just maybe how the sticker uh, it says For elf use only and it says nice. Sorry. I'm just looking at it, it says delivery method front door So I think he, she fills it out. Let's see if we can Oh, that's gonna be hard for you to see. Maybe after I open it. Oh, I tore it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Oops. Well, I tore. Oh my gosh. I think that's an ornament. Look how cute. Okay. Look at. I think that's a Christmas tree ornament. Isn't that cute? Yes. Okay. There's two ornaments here. There's like this little truck guy. Isn't that cute? My mom's gonna love that. She loves the truck. And then I guess this is more like a gift tag. Yep, a gift tag. See on the back it says to and from. That's really cute. She made these really, really adorable. And then there's the paper, which I'm gonna make a mess with that. Oh my goodness. This is really cool. Okay, so then after I take off the layer of paper, she made these like super special. That's what it looks like. It smells good too. There is a little Tootsie Roll Pop. There is this little bag. So I don't know, I wonder if there's, there's pie wax in here. I know she said there's gonna be like some kind of New Year's Eve scent. So I don't think that's it, but this, okay. So this first one, I'm glad to see there's, um, so she has the, the scent name, the scent description, and then the month that it was poured. So this is Snow Miser, which is balsam fir, peppermint, and toasted marshmallow. That's like perfect for me. And it's in a tree. Super cute. And I think she said there was gonna be like 35, 30, 35 ounces of wax. And it was $35 before tax and shipping, I think. Ooh, her wax is soft. Mm, I get more of the peppermint and the toasted marshmallow in that one. So that's super cute that it came in this like little, little plaid, gingham, whatever it's called, um, little bag. Then she has like a little ornament just like for, you know, decoration in there. She made it super cute. Okay, how cute. Okay, here's a little souffle. And this is in Frosty Scarf, which is Icy Peppermint and Sweater Weather. That's like totally perfect for me. Oh, that smells so good. It smells like Bath and Body Works sweater, sweater Weather. And then, which is what I get the most of. Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh, that smells so amazing. Yeah, I mostly get the Sweater Weather in that. That's really yummy. Uh, this next one is It's a Wonderful Life, which is cocoa butter cashmere, roasted pine cones, and vanilla bean noel. 
And I think she showed a picture of this particular one in her, in her Facebook group. Oh yeah, that smells really good. That smells very pretty and soft and warm. Look how pretty that is. I love it. Now these come like right out. Look at that. It just comes right out. Oh, that smells so good. I definitely get that roasted pine cones. I think it's layered. I think the top might be the cocoa butter cashmere and the bottom is the pine cones of an LB Noel maybe. That is super cute. I'm excited to try her stuff out and see how I like it. Okay, so this next one is Baked Alaska. This is strawberry jam, vanilla ice cream, and marshmallow cream cake. There's the label. And then it's a Santa head. Isn't that cute? Mm. Okay, I'm excited to try one of her strawberries. Let me show you. That's adorable. Definitely smells like a sweet strawberry jam. Kind of candy-like. I get the ice cream and I get a little bit kind of like a creamy, cakey scent. So that smells good. It's nice to have stuff that's not necessarily just Christmas type scents, you know? Okay, then I have more paper. And oh my gosh, she just, she made this so cute. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up so you can see the next layer again. So, cause then the next layer is scent shots. And then there's another one of those little bags and then you can, there's a little gift. Do you see that gift right there? Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, she's made it so cute. Okay. So the scent shot is gangsta wrapper, hot cocoa, nutmeg, spices, and vanilla butter fudge. That sounds really good. Oh, and she has them decorated. Look how cute. Okay, definitely get the, the hot cocoa scent. Ooh, I can get the nutmeg and spices. Okay, on the top, it just smelled like the hot cocoa, but with the nutmeg and spices, that is really good. This next one is Manhattan Christmas, which is cinnamon peppermint cream. And that is what it looks like on the inside. Hmm, okay. That's really good. It's kind of like a red hot cinnamon, but with the peppermint, I actually really like that because it's kind of creamy. That's really nice. I, I like that scent. This next one is Rebel Without a Cause, sorry, Rebel Without a Claws, sugar, which is sugar cookies, vanilla buttercream crunch, and Palo Santo, which I love Palo Santo blends, so I'm excited to get one from her. Isn't that adorable? Mm. Ooh, I really get the Palo Santo. A little bit of that like vanilla butter buttercream crunch and some of the cookie scent that smells nice what I don't know is do I need to let this stuff cure if you've purchased from her do you recommend curing this next one is Grinchmas which is pistachio nut cupcakes and crushed almond cookies super cute hmm. oh let me show you the inside little heart <laughs> The little tiny Grinch heart. Okay, smells like pistachio. Yeah, of the crushed almond cookies, it does have a little bit of that almond note in there. To me, it smells like a true like almond or almond extract without the cherry. So that smells good. Nice bakery kind of type scent. This next one is Magic Cookie Bars, which is vanilla pound cake, caramelized pralines, coconut cream, and cupcakes. Oh, sorry, coconut cream and cupcakes at Tiffany's. It's a customer creation. So I'm again, excited to try her uh, her cupcakes at Tiffany's. Oh, how cute, a little, little gingerbread man. Oops, some of those little crystals fell. Ooh, that smells really good. Okay, I'm definitely getting like the caramelized pralines and the coconut cream and a bit of the cupcakes at Tiffany's. This is definitely like a very rich, decadent sweet bakery so that that smells good and i think the last scent shot is cindy lou which i've seen her um, post on this in her group i guess is a pretty popular um scent and it's pink sugar cotton candy frosting candy canes and marshmallow fluff 
So this is a really cool way to try out some of her popular, I guess, I, you know, got at least one of her popular blends. Mm, yeah, pink sugar and peppermint. That's really good. That's what it smells like. It's softer because it's candy cane and there's the cotton candy frosting and the marshmallow fluff. So it's not like a really strong peppermint, but I can smell it. I'll be excited to see kind of how that does on warm. So then, okay, so there's a little stocking, like a little, a little stocking. So cute. Like the amount of attention to detail she put into this was so cute. So then there's this little bag inside. It's Elf Yeah, which is Christmas eggnog, snickerdoodle cookies, and gooey marshmallows. And there's two little gingerbread. Oops, let me show you. Two little gingerbread guys in there. Her wax is pretty soft. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Smell the eggnog. That smells really good. So cute. Mm, I really get the eggnog and a little bit of kind of the cookie note. That smells good. So adorable. I just love how she packaged this all up. Okay, so there's another souffle in here. This is Whoville, which is blue spruce, cotton candy frosting, candy canes, and sugar cookies. Super cute. So you don't get like a ton of wax for what you pay, but like all the little like details that she put on it is really, is really neat. So here is what that looks like. Mm, I really get the blue spruce and the candy canes. And then it's sweetened up with that cotton candy frosting. That smells really good. Yeah, that's yummy. I, love it. I definitely love mint. Now, mint, I know vendors do tons of mint around Christmas, but I do minty scents year-round. I always have. I love minty scents. Ah, especially, like, for nighttime. Okay, I'm trying to get it back in the bag. Okay, so then the last thing, and so she did mention, oh, there's a little candy cane that got broken. She mentioned how she was going to put in, like, a special New Year's scent or something, so that's what I think this must be. Um, I just, again, love how she made it look like a little present with a little bow on top. I don't want to open it. I probably should have, well, no, because I'm opening it on camera. I was going to say I should have taken a cute picture. Let's see. Okay. So this is Kiss Me at Midnight. Cashmere Plum and Vanilla Champagne. Very cool. Okay. Oh, that is beautiful. That is really, really nice. So there's two of these little guys. Oh, that is, I really get the champagne in this. It, it's, it has like that bubbly-ness to it, but it's also sweet and has a little bit of that fruitiness from the plum. That is really, really good. I would like to get this in a bigger quantity. Um, so anyhow, that is everything that I got in this sampler. Like. I'm really excited to try this stuff. I'm excited to try the Melted Muse, see how I like her stuff. Um, she did post in her group. I think she's taking, like, to see what people's preferences are for her next, I think, pre-order, possibly in her group, but she does have a Facebook group, so join that. Um, if you guys have tried the Melted Moose, let me know what you think. Should I let some of this stuff cure for a little bit? Um, and then hopefully not too long because I am anxious to get warming and thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Bye